Welcome back to FAIR TV. I'm Janine Jackson. On May 19th, the FBI announced that five Chinese military hackers had been indicted for spying on American companies. The accusations of economic espionage got a big boost from the nightly newscasts. China's military has attacked major U.S. companies in a computer war that kills American jobs. On our broadcast tonight, stealing secrets from some of the biggest companies in America. Tonight, espionage charges as the U.S. fights back in the high-stakes spy wars with China. Charging a team of Chinese spies with stealing American inventions and costing a lot of American jobs. But to anyone with a passing familiarity with the Edward Snowden NSA revelations, this all sounded a bit hypocritical. The agency is involved in what most would call economic espionage against interests in a number of countries, including Brazil's National Oil Company, various German technology companies, and yes, China Telecom. Either the network newscasts don't know this, or they don't think that you should. The New York Times noted the double standard in at least two pieces, explaining that China's actions were in part a response to those of the U.S. The paper also revealed the U.S. government's defense. Officials say they do spy, routinely, but it's to advance American economic advantage, which is part of protecting national security. They don't spy on behalf of specific U.S. companies. Well, that rationale has no evident basis in international law. The Times calls it a line that few others recognize. But TV networks were too busy talking about Chinese thieves to even mention it. Another story that got a lot of attention from the network newscasts, the wildfires that are scorching parts of Southern California. The state is facing a severe drought, the fire season is nearly year round, and the number of fires this year is double the usual. So we counted 35 stories on the morning and evening newscasts. How many of them so much as mentioned climate change? Only one, and just because a politician brought it up. Governor Brown. Today, Governor Jerry Brown blamed climate change. We get heat and we get fires and we get what we're seeing. This is especially ironic because just days before the fires became national news, the same broadcasts were devoting attention to the release of the national climate assessment. It's not about if or when, but the point of this report is to show it's happening here and now in this country. Is all this extreme weather around us global warming or not? The president's answer is yes, that it's underway right here, right now. And in the southwest, it means more heat waves and exceptional drought bringing those wildfires. That report talks about the effect climate change is having on wildfires in the West. There could hardly be a more appropriate time to connect the dots. And finally, Meet the Press has a new series called Meeting America. It's supposed to be a break from the familiar pundit politico roundtable. The network says it gives a national platform to voices we don't normally hear from. More voices that aren't John McCain. Well, that sounds great. But so far, Meeting America has demonstrated a pretty narrow vision of the country. On April 6th, reporter Kevin Tibbles visited a Nebraska town and heard from residents who favored the Keystone Pipeline because they thought it would provide a big economic boost. On April 20th, he reported on a planned Christian theme park in Kentucky. On May 18th, NBC was back in Kentucky to cover a Republican Senate primary to listen to the thoughts and concerns over issues facing the country. Viewers met a business owner rankled by government red tape and a woman who runs a horse farm who dislikes the Affordable Care Act. In a lot of ways, I think we are losing our freedoms. They're getting involved in too many of my decisions. So the show's vision of America is remarkably white, conservative-leaning, and rural. There's more to the country than that. Let's hope NBC meets the rest of America sometime soon. I'm Janine Jackson. Thanks for watching FAIR TV.